let the peace, love, and blessings of Jehovah God and His Christ be upon the entire world. In the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. God, this supreme teacher, everlasting gospel delivered to the entire world by the Holy Spirit of Truth, leader Olumba, Olumba, Obu, the supernatural teacher. First lesson, John chapter 6, verse 45. It is written in the prophets, And they shall be all taught of God. Every man therefore that hath heard, and hath learned of the Father, cometh unto me. Second lesson, Matthew 23, verse 8. But be not ye called rabbi, for one is your master, even Christ. And all ye are brethren, golden text, John chapter 14, verse 11. Believe me that I am in the Father, and the Father in me, or else believe me for the very work's sake. Quote, brethren, it is a pity that at this early morning some, some are still slumbering. You should not be offended with them because unless the Father gives you the ability to keep awake, you cannot bear the strain. It is the Spirit that worketh. These words are fire that burns and consumes. When God enters into many people, they say they are sick. I only laugh at them. I know many who have become confused. The words they receive are not merely heavy and they are like bulldozer. They give everlasting life. They burn and kill sin, making you to be born again. The gospel embodies life's admonitions. It was used and is still used in creating all things. Many people think that the Father, the Son and the Holy Spirit are separate beings. Many say they have seen Christ. But the message of this morning proves that all three are one God. God is the only teacher. Brethren, it is a fact that God alone teaches all things. There is no other teacher from the beginning of creation. He alone teaches all things and he alone knows all things. All who receive his teachings must also follow him. When he created Adam, he instructed him not to receive any other teaching from anyone else. But since Adam left the teachings of God and received that of Lucifer, the fall of man started from then. Whenever you have the teachings of God and adopt that of Lucifer, you, whenever you leave the teachings of God and adopt that of Lucifer, you must surely fall. You can never know God unless you receive his teachings and practice them. If anyone invites you to come to the university to learn about God, do not pay heed to him. If you are directed to go to a certain city and learn about God, do not go. God, God alone teaches you all things and nobody else can teach you the word of God or any other thing in this life. The fall of the whole world is due to the fact that man has left the teachings of God. You cannot do anything without the teachings of God. If you go to the university and study as much as you can, it avails you nothing. Only God alone can teach the wisdom of God and wisdom of the world. He has never delegated the office of a teacher to anybody, not even to an angel. He is the only teacher because man has left the teachings of God 
I cannot narrate to you all the miseries that has befallen him. Right from Adam up to this day, man has left God's teachings and has adopted the teachings of man. When you first come here, my first advice to you is that you should listen to me alone. I alone am the only teacher. If a teacher has taught a pupil until they come to the same level of knowledge as the teacher, then they became equal. No person can come to the knowledge of truth unless God teaches him. This is why many receive punishment because they do not listen to God's teaching. Another person can sit beside you but he may not understand the way you do. This is why it is said that if we live according to the flesh we must die. But if we live according to the spirit we live everlasting life. From the beginning of the world up till now there is no other teacher except God. Do not listen to the advice of man, brethren. Do not listen to the teachings of your wife. If you do, you will fall like Adam. Do not receive the teachings of your earthly father lest you come to destruction. Do not listen to what man may say. If you do, you will surely meet with failure and you will be unable to follow God. You cannot discern real knowledge unless through the teachings of God. Man does not know or see God because man has refused to listen to his teachings. This is why God has always chosen to come alone to teach mankind about himself so that he may not go astray. God does not teach evil. Brethren, it is not God who teaches anyone to steal or to tell lies or to quarrel or to fight or to fornicate. All these are the teachings of the flesh. It is not God who teaches about witchcraft, mermaid, juju and other spirits. All these are the promptings of the flesh. It is said that when the battle is tough, the king comes forward. If not, the situation will be bad. Whenever God finishes his teaching, Lucifer comes in to introduce his own. Remember God and Adam with Eve? After God had finished instructing them not to touch that fruit in the garden, the devil Ask them why they have not eaten of the fruit. They said that God had forbidden them to eat of it. And that if they eat of it, they will die. The devil convinced them that this was a lie. They will never die. Do you see this? That God told Adam not to receive the teachings from any other source? except from himself it was because Eve received the instruction of the serpent and took and ate the fruit and also gave to Adam from that time he had no teacher or someone to direct him again in the correct path the devil started to teach him drinking teach him to use teaching the use of herbs not for food again, but for curing. He taught him medicine. These are not the teachings of God. It is the devil that has introduced wine, introduced fraud, and various ungodly societies. You remember the story of the man of God, whom God told not to take the same way back home and also not to eat in anybody's house. On his return, he called at the house of another man of God. But finding him not at home, he passed on and rested under a tree. When the other man of God returned to his house and learned of him, he ran after him 
and tried to persuade him to follow him back home. But he resisted and said he was following God's instruction. But the other man instead convinced him to follow him home. While he was eating, God warned him that he will surely die on his way and he actually died. His tempter came and took his corpse and buried him. So you see, brethren, disobedient killed him. If he had followed the instructions of God, he would not have died. All other problems, all our problems and suffering are the result of disobedience. There is no juju, there is no mermaid, and there is no witchcraft except that all these platforms, that except that all these phantoms are produced by our disobedience. God says do not kill, do not steal, and do not fornicate. He has marked out all what we should not do, he warns that if we do any of these things which are forbidden, we shall die. Obedience to the flesh causes death. God warns that if you curse your father, your life will be shortened. He says we should not drink strong or soft drink except water because it is Satan that creates drink. God loves us. He teaches us. He teaches even a child. He reiterates that it is the spirit that quickened the flesh profited nothing. If you forsake the teachings of God and follow that of your father or mother, you must surely die. There is no other way of salvation than listening to God. If God does not teach you, you cannot know. It is said that they stumbled and fell because they do not listen to God. Solomon failed because of disobedience. Brethren, why did Solomon fail? God warned him not to marry the prostitute. But he disobeyed God and married her. And to make matters worse, he built a shrine for her idol, God, and condescended to worship the idol with her. He fell from God's grace as a result. The world is always joking with the instructions of God, and therefore trouble must always be the consequence. If you teach the word of God to the world, they would not listen. They would prefer to accept teachings that please the flesh. They are ready to follow that and die. Man has failed to hearken to God's instructions. Brethren, do you not remember that God says to Adam, you are given fruits and weeds for food. He entrusted to his care fishes, birds, and animals. When did God say kill and eat any animal? There is surplus of fruits in the world such as bananas, mangoes, pineapples, and all other sorts, all in abundance for food. Man left that advice and this is what brought all the trouble on earth because man refuses the instructions of God. When did God advise man that when he is sick, he should go and collect herbs or to go to hospital for treatment? When did God instruct man to worship stone? God uses Genesis chapter 1 to deliver his judgment. From this it shows that God is the same from the beginning and his teachings have never been altered. There has never been another teacher. From the beginning, God has no hand in sin. At any time you commit sin, you deny God. He has advised that you should 
not offer wine nor drink it yourself. The teachings which he taught from the beginning continues to the end. All who do his teaching must emulate him and they will receive unto themselves good health and everlasting life. When God created man, he advised that he should not take another woman. He declared that the man and the woman have become one flesh, and what he has joined together let no man put asunder. Any other teaching which departs from this is false. What brought punishment to Adam and Eve was that God had not permitted them to eat the forbidden fruit. They should have waited to receive instructions from God. Eve gave birth to twin children first, then another twin in her second delivery, and then one child in her third delivery. It was then that Adam did not want to have any intimate relationship with his wife again. He decided to sleep on the treetop to avoid temptation. When God inquired from Adam why he was sleeping on the treetop, Adam pleaded that he did not want any more intimacy with his wife and God took away the desire. God reminded him that from the start he should not have done it, but nevertheless he removed the sexual desire and both of them remained as brother and sister. Let the first lesson be read again. First lesson, John chapter 6 verse 45, it is written in the prophets, and they shall be all taught of God. Every man therefore that hath heard and hath learned of the Father, cometh unto me. Brethren, have you heard that? Why call me Lord, Lord, and yet you refuse to hearken to my admonition? God is teaching us every day, but we have refused to hear him. Our Lord Jesus Christ passed through Paul to Timothy, instructing, instructing him to preach to people because soon people will forsake the truth. Man left the teachings of God and accepted the teachings of man, and so they fell. It is due to gluttony that man takes to drinking. It was the spirit of in man which says, drink a little for your stomach's sake. The flesh kills, but the spirit kinds of life. Only the instructions of God can save man. The precepts of man only serve to destroy. So brethren, you can see that these are the sound doctrine of God. When I tell you to refrain from their evil ways, they harden their heart. Just as Noah preached repentance to the people of those days, but they were stiff-necked until the flood came, so also did Lot preach to the people of Sodom and Gomorrah, but they would not listen, they would not hearken, an hailstone over an ale storm overtook them. Moses labored in vain to change the children of Israel to the ways of God. But they were recalcitrant. He delivered God's commandments. Thou shalt not have any other gods beside me. Thou shalt not steal, and several other thou shalt not. At first, the children of Israel received God's words with joy, but later they went their own way and did not put the advice into practice. There was never a time when God told man to have another God, nor has he ever advised man to worship any other image like trees and stones. Never. There was no time when God 
permitted fornication. Whenever you go contrary to God's laws, you incur sickness, tribulation, and death to yourself. When John came, he preached repentance. It was only John who disliked food, disliked living only. He disliked food, living only on honey and locust beans, and wearing only animal skin as his raiment. It was God's instructions that he should not eat or drink. He kept God's instructions, fulfilled his assignment. He kept God's instructions and fulfilled his assignment. It was God's instruction that he should baptize people and he was to observe on whomsoever the Spirit will descend unto would be identified as the Son of God. Man always refuses instruction. God does not like the death of a sinful man. It is only man who has chosen to die of his sins, but God has no hands in sin. He hates it. If you fell, if you tell a lie, God departs from you. If you steal, God departs from you. When you are sick, when you have nothing to eat, all come from your refusal to comply with God's instruction. What connects you with God are his instruction. This is why Christ says, as I hear, I judge, and my judgment is right, because I seek not mine own will, but the will of him who sent me. We must always listen. Do not turn your ears away. When you do so, it may be the time God is warning you, but because you do not listen, you will not hear. All those who kill have been advised by God not to kill. But they turn round to hearken to the advice of man to kill and disobey the advice of God. As a result, they suffer. It is like going punctually to school, but not listening to what the teacher teaches. What is your profit? We are all witnesses that when you, fall, that when you fail to listen to God, even when he passes through a person or tells you personally, we must surely suffer. When the Pharisees asked him why his disciples eat without first washing their hands, he told them that they were like the blind leading the blind. He said anything his father did not plant will be uprooted and cast into fire. What God does not plant must be removed. This is the time he has come to remove all shaky things away. Have you seen any other person relentlessly forbidding people from drinking or from fornicating? Have you ever heard any university teaching you that if someone hurts you, you should pay him back with kindness? Have you heard any teaching about love your enemy? Only God teaches you to love your enemy. Of all what Christ taught, not one person has received it. All churches are only making noise. Not one of them is practicing what God taught. No church teaches, do not steal, do not fornicate. He says, he who does not forsake father or mother or son or brother or sister has no eternal life. If you tell the churches, they will tell you, throw that one away. That should not be regarded again. It is the instruction of God that people should no longer 
give daughters for marriage. We should not, we should be like the angels. If you read this to the churches, they will only say, take it away. That is why he says, never call anybody a teacher because the whole world is filled with false prophets. Let the second lesson be read again. Second lesson, Matthew chapter 23, verse 8. But be not ye called rabbi, for one is your master, even Christ, and all ye are brethren. Brethren, have you heard this? Do not call any person teacher. Christ alone is the teacher. If he says, call me a teacher, it means Christ is God. And that is why he says, call no man teacher. Rabbi means teacher. Teacher means God. All the quack teachers of this world are no teachers. Teachings in the kingdom of God can only be done by the teacher. This is why he says, call no other person teacher, for God alone teaches, and he alone is the teacher. All teachings that is not given by God are mundane. There is no man who can teach about the laws of God. Christ says the advice he receives is not from man, but from God, because his advice is everlasting life. Because of this, each of you receives from God everlasting life. Every time you want to steal, the God inside of you warns you not to do so. When you want to fornicate, he warns you. He says all who hear his voice will follow him. But he who keeps a deaf ear is lost. The people ask him, Is it good to divorce because Moses permitted it? Christ replied that from the beginning it was not so because God had said, What God has joined together let no man put asunder. When they inquired about the seven brothers who married one wife, how all of them, one after the other, died, and of the seven of them, whose wife will the woman be? He told them that they had erred, for in the kingdom of God, none is given to marriage. Does this not confirm what happened from the beginning, when Adam was alone? The testimony of two persons is sufficient. To establish the truth. He says. We should be perfect. As our heavenly father is perfect. Do you not see. That from the beginning. All people were one. Man and animals. All lived together. Man did not kill animals. Here. He says. Here he says. Call no man teacher. Is it not the same instruction God gave to Adam not to receive teaching from man? When God says, love your enemy and do not resist the evildoer, this is the same as the instruction given at the beginning. Do not say to another person, woe unto you. Do not ever be annoyed. Does it not confirm the spirit of oneness by God. He says we are all brothers and sisters and that God alone should teach us all things. You say if I were Adam and Eve I would have paid heed to the words of Christ. Is it not the same God of Adam which is Christ? God is one and his teachings are one. When he came whether you were Gentile or Greek, he was not offended by any, but collected all races unto himself and united them. Ever since the time of Adam and Eve, man has never been 
Man has ever been a contagious animal, but Christ has joined all together. First of all, man burned incense and worshipped idols. But when Christ came, he collected everything together and made all people to be one. Do you not hear from the mouth of prophets when God asked, what else can you build for me as if God can live in a house made by man? Heaven is my throne and earth my footstool. Have you heard of any church established by Christ? When the disciples pointed to him the grandeur of the buildings, of the temples, the cathedrals and churches, he told them a time would come when they would not find of those buildings one stone upon another. When they attacked and queried him for healing on, on the Sabbath day, he replied, My father works either too, and I work. Have you ever heard Christ set any hour apart as an hour? not to work he says he works continuously like his father unmindful of time where else have you seen people worship god daily as in brotherhood of the cross and star this is why people are asking from where he got this wisdom some say without going to school you cannot learn it is God who teaches everything. If anybody wants to test God's ability to teach all things, just put his laws into practice and you will see whether the knowledge comes from man or from university. I will not take you further. Let the golden text be read again. Golden text, John chapter 14 verse 11. Believe me that I am in the Father and the Father in me, or else believe me for the very works sake. Brethren, the Holy Spirit will teach you everything, and yet he has told us not to call any person teacher. Is he not God? When he said, call no one teacher, it is because the whole world is full of false teachers. The instructions Adam rejected are the same instructions being taught by the Holy Spirit. Look at the wide gap between Adam and Christ, yet the teachings were identical. Know, know now that there is only one God appearing as God and then as Christ and again as the Holy Spirit. Consider the time from Adam to the time of Christ and then up to the present era. This is time of fulfillment, brethren. Who else can teach like this except God? How many believe that God is teaching? If someone tells you there is a person who does not eat meat, does not fornicate, but surrenders himself. Will you not doubt it? But there are many here who live on vegetables and are satisfied. They live the life of truth, love and humility. Who has taught them so? Is it not God? Have you not heard? that there are three in heaven that bear witness, the Father, the Word, and the Holy Spirit. These three are one, the Holy Trinity. The one who says, have no other teacher, and the one who says, Christ is your master, and the Holy Spirit, all three are one and the same, formerly, no one regarded fornication as evil, 
But now it is clear to everybody the Father is bringing more into the fold who can eschew such evils. Many are called, but few are chosen. We are many here, but how many can abide by such teaching? Only those who abide by the teaching can follow him. Is there any government that can effectively stop you from eating meat? Formerly, in the brotherhood of the cross, and uh, we usually kill many goats and cows for feast, but now, no more. Who could have stopped us but God? God teaches us about himself, but the Comforter which has come teaches and reveals God and reminds us of God's instruction. We have among us here scientists who have been teaching the evolution of man, how man started from the lizard. They have heard the teachings of God and had they not changed their creed of evolution, they would not be here. Brethren, if the Holy Spirit had not come, the whole world would have perished. No man could have stopped you from fornicating or drinking. Who could have drawn you unto who could have drawn you into this new kingdom? In the past, he was the one who called people. In the past, he was the one who called and people gave excuses. But today, who has called you? Remember, he had sworn that all knees shall bow to him and all tongues shall praise him. You are told that the Son, the Father, and the Holy Spirit are here. The Holy Spirit is everywhere. He has come to reign forever, to teach forever. Whether you are sleeping or you are in any condition or anywhere, he is with you. You should now listen to him. Do not call anyone teacher. If he does not teach, who else can teach you? Brethren, I will not take you further. A stroke of the cane is sufficient for the wise. Let him that has ears hear. May God bless his holy words. Amen. End of quote. Peace in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Thank you, Father.